Well, it's really impor important to get across to your views that here in London and across our country, we love America. We love Americans. We respect America. We revere the founding fathers. We you know, love presidents you've had in the past. We have big concerns about this president, some of the things he's uh, said and done over the last two or three years. We've got real concerns about his you know, policy to ban people from coming to the USA because of their faith, uh, separating children from their parents on the border of Mexico some of the rolling back of uh, rights of the LGBT plus community, but also telling women uh, what, they, what they can and can't do with their body and to the situation around the reproductive rights of uh, women. We think he's wrong. Talk away from the Paris climate change accord at a time when we face a climate emergency. But also, we're really concerned that around the world you're seeing far-right groups that used to be in the fringes now being mainstreamed and normalised uh, using Donald Trump as their poster boy. We're in a delicate time politically. Um, how important is the US as a partner for the UK right now? Well, here in the UK, we see the USA as our closest allies. So we cherish this special relationship. And one of the things about a special relationship is it's akin to a best friend. And the expectations you have on your best friend are higher than you have on a friend or an acquaintance. And so it means that when we are with our best friend, we articulate to them some of the concerns we have. And so we are concerned about some of the things that have been said and done by this uh, president. And because our expectations on you are higher, I'd expect our prime minister to let the president know what those concerns are. And the frustration of Londoners and others across our country, some of the things our closest friend are doing, we disagree with and it's because we cherish you and, and, and we respect you and, and we love you, we, we think it's important for you to know how we feel. Um, should the President be weighing in on Brexit right about now? Well, it's, it's ironic that uh, the previous President, when he commented on some of the consequences of us leaving the European Union, was criticised for doing so. Yet the same people who criticised him for doing so now welcome what this president is uh, saying. I think his advice is bad. I think the idea that uh, we could leave the European Union with a, with, without any deal would be good for us is not the case. I also think we should be very careful in our country expecting a favourable trade deal with America that benefits us and not the USA when we know the USA would strike a hard bargain. I'm also concerned about some of the things that would be expected from our country. I, I'm worried about private uh, firms in America running our National Health Service. I'm worried about what a, a, a trade deal with America would entail. But also I'm worried because we know that Donald Trump's mood changes from day to day, uh, from hour to hour. So any trade deal that could be promised now, heaven knows whether it materialise in the future. So what do you think of him weighing in on, on the fact that he said that Boris Johnson should be leader of the Conservative Party What's your opinions on that? Well, look, it's for Donald Trump to you know, decide who he thinks is the best candidate for the Conservative leader. My concern has been is that I don't think a few Conservative MPs and Conservative members should be choosing the next Prime Minister. It should be the British uh, public. If the British public were told uh, that uh, you know, Donald Trump is favouring candidate A versus candidate B, that may mean the British public chooses the candidate not being recommended by Donald Trump. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.